rammed in the summer that apparently there's a ghost here. The full royal feast. The sun's come out right on cue. Well, hello guys. Something a little bit different as I walk past the bike rack at Marylebone Station. I'm heading out of London for a lovely lunch at what apparently is the oldest pub in the UK, although it is debatable because I think it might be number six in the list, but it is over 900 years old. I'm going to be with my family. I'm going to have a cosy pub lunch. People always request me to do this. So, oh, platform six. It's always platform six, isn't it? Right, it's going to be busy. So I'll see you at Beaconsfield. And we have made it. Dad and Judy are heading in. Yes, we are at the Royal Standard of England. Yes, 900 years. And it's been used in quite a lot of films, even Hot Fuzz, which I'm a fan of. Look at this. And it is busy already. It's just gone 12 o'clock. <laughs> I did not want to walk. Taxi it is, right. I've lost my family already. Oh, I've been left already, guys. I often get asked, please, can you do like Englishy things? So here we go, an Englishy thing. I'm really left by my family now, they've gone in. Okay, let's have a look on the outside. It's King Charles' room over there. Oh, how quaint. Okay, did they go in here? Let's see, lots of awards. Welcome, pilgrim. Dad pointing stuff out. Toilets. <laughs> oh, wow. Goodness me. Where are we sat? Oh, look at all the old stuff. Oh, that's a good table. Very cosy. They got all the little knickknacks, all the nooks and crannies. Oh, this is a good one. Yeah, you're either by the windows or you are in a cosy little nook. How cool is this? So yeah, it's like a regular pub. I think we got lucky, very lucky. Oh, look at all the details with the booking. We're just in this little corner. <laughs> Above Dad's head is a skeleton. <laughs> this is cool in here. Isn't it cool? I'm trying to film that loads of people have just come in now. I think we've got two hours-ish at the table. In the light, just about. The oldest freehold in England, and there is a whole burb. Oh, Dad's getting the candle out. <laughs> <laughs> and they've got some blur about the Saxons, the Normans, Roundheads, Cavaliers, Highwaymen, Rakes, etc. Let's have a look quickly. Oh, right on cue, candle lit. <laughs> okay, let's have a quick look at the menu. Hopefully you guys can see that. We are here, are here on a Sunday, proper Sunday roast authentic experience today. But I think I'm going to go for one of the Sunday roasts. These are slightly more towards London prices, I would say, at that 21 to 24 pounds. But you do get all the trimmings. I've just seen someone's food and it looks amazing. Fish and chips, etc., and some salads. <laughs> and even the glasses are branded. The Royal Standard of England, historic L House. But yeah, and it's cozy. Okay, the ales are something that they're famous for, I guess for the last 900 years. Um, also, do you like my nails? I've got them done ombre. Does anyone care? Probably not. Um, so we have cask ales. There we are, soon. What's a cask ale? Anyone Comes know? Comes out of a barrel. Comes out of a barrel. Comes out of a barrel. Wooden barrel, old fashioned. Been fermenting for a while, possibly. <laughs> there we go. Add to the add to the flavour, there we go. So yeah, Chilton Pale L. We are in the Chilterns and you can see the prices there on the right, which is I think quite reasonable actually to be fair, compared to London. Then some more drinks. I know you guys like to see the drinks. Artisan ciders, a little bit fancier. By candlelight we can just about see this. And the wine list. Dad, oh my gosh. Literally catch him. Do you know how much bleach is in my hair? No. <laughs> it's obviously natural. <laughs> Don't want to set my hair on fire. Anyway, here are some of the wines. What have we got? White wine. Hopefully you can see that with Dad's assisted lighting skills. There we go. And yeah, we've got some that are glasses, but I think a lot of them are bottle only. And more on the other side, you've got rosés and red wine. What's Dad? Oh, you dripped the wax, Dad. <laughs> they were just saying that we're in an old church pew. 
Hi, Judy. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Okay, the pork has arrived. Do you mind rotating the plate for me, Judy? Got to do a bit of a full, what have you got? Potatoes, all the trimmings, the veggies underneath. Oh, is that yum? Yorkshire pudding, apple sauce, gravy on the side. Dad got the full shabam, three meats, the full royal feast. Don't complain that you're hungry. And then they kind of talked us into getting a side of cauliflower cheese. And then I got the beef, which looks amazing. And yeah, all the veggies underneath. So we're gonna tuck in and have a drink. It's very aesthetically pleasing with the lights. Mm. Lovely to see you. This is amazing. It's really nice and cozy. I'm gonna have a bit of that in a minute. Yum, yum. Oh, comment below. Should a Yorkshire pudding be in a roast dinner or not? Argue it out in the comments. Look at the cozy fireplace. That's absolutely adorable. Oh, I love this. Oh, look at that little table. And the pudding menu has come after us for heroes. <laughs> British puddings, here we go. We've got Eton Mass. That's probably about standard for puddings now, I'd say in London anyway, about nine quid. Apple pie, treacle, etc. Oh, clotted cream, ice cream, and other digestives, drink-wise. I think we might struggle on the desserts because we're really full, but a little bit of my head's going, no, you can manage a dessert, Alan. You're going to have it. And guess what it's going to be? It's a different stomach. It's a different stomach, of course. Yes, that's apple how it... Apple, apple, pie. Pie. apple pie and custard every time a winner. And the I'm going to go for the sticky toffee pudding. pudding. Judy just said something that apparently there's a ghost here. Really? Seen regularly. Yeah. Seen regularly. <gasps> I'll show you some more of the pub as we go around. But yeah, we were just reading. Um, I'm not gonna read you all the history, but yeah, over 900 years old. is uh, sticky toffee pudding. Look at the size of that, it's absolutely massive. Dad wants to show off his apple pie. Oh, that looks nice, Dad. <laughs> Thanks. That dessert was amazing. I couldn't quite eat all of my sticky toffee pudding, but as I scoot down, we did have some extra drinks. It is the weekend, guys, don't judge. But that totally came to 165 pounds, but our main courses were, what were they? 28.95 for the royal roast and 24 pounds for the roast dinner, which I think was very reasonable. We are very full. Brilliant. Out of 10, gotta be a 10 all day long. Yeah, a 10 out of 10. Dog friendly, the dog bar is there. <laughs> Bit of a grey sky, but yeah, super, super nice. Yeah, they filmed Hot Fuzz, one of my, I love that film, don't you? I like Shaun of the Dead, actually, it's one of my faves. Uh, Midsummer Murders and even The Afterlife, the Ricky Gervais series. Yeah, Dad was saying it gets absolutely rammed in the summer. Right, off for a walk, and I'll see you back in London.
we are off for another roast dinner. That's what this video is all about. But we're just passing the Warwick Castle, which is near like my area. And it was, it's quite a cute, like old man pub, but I'm gonna be heading down to Kensington to the Windsor Castle. The sun's come out right on cue. Hopefully we're gonna get too rained on this afternoon. But yes, nice hour or so walk down into Kensington. Also, I quite like having a cap. I would never usually wear a cap, but it's proving pretty good when it's part raining. Um, but yes, that is spring in London for you. And also all this gorgeous food. I'm trying to get my steps in a lot more than before. I think I did 15,000 steps yesterday. So I'm trying to do 10,000 as a minimum. Oh, I feel like I need my sunglasses. The sun reflecting off the wet roads. Nah, the narrow boat life is not for me. But then again, if the sun is shining and the climate was considerably warmer, potentially. And there we go, we have the bridge house. A bit of refurb going on, but this is a nice spot to stop off and get a drink if you're coming to Little Venice. Oh, I love these buildings, they're so pretty. This is definitely the type of weather. As a Londoner, if the walk is within an hour, hour and a half, you walk. Oh, look at those trees. I feel like my cherry blossom video wasn't the best. I think I was a bit early, but anyway. Oh, a lovely lunchtime at the Italian gardens. I think these were commissioned by Prince Albert. I think it ended up being a present for Queen Victoria and the most ridiculous ice cream truck. The Rolls Royce ice cream truck here in the Royal Parks. They don't all have these, but that's what a Royal ice cream is gonna set you back, a few quid. Oh, it's so peaceful. I love it. On to the next pub for lunch. We're at the Windsor Castle in Kensington. Look at the inside of this place. Honestly, this vlog is all about pubs. <laughs> and I like the old pictures. Yeah, these pubs do tend to cost a little bit more than your weather spoons, but they're a vibe. Lots of nooks and crannies. The throne room, that would usually be the toilet, would it not? Oh, look at that one. Yeah, we're sat outside. Like many pubs, you can crawl under the thing to get to the next section. And they have this world map where you can get a little bit of paper and it'll write your name, where you're from. Look at this. <laughs> These guys were from Egypt. Lots of people from Australia. Comment below guys, where are you from? I think little things like this are really sweet. Cheers! The girls are here. <laughs> oh, it's going in. Oh, that looks good, Karen. This is the vlog of roast dinners, guys. Yorkshire pudding. Oh, this looks lush. I'm going to show you a few guys. They've both got fish and chips. <gasps> Well guys, I think that is enough roast dinners for one video. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing a couple of pubs. I'm gonna walk home because I need the steps. Two roast dinners in just a few days. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stick around, subscribe. I'm still gonna do two videos a week, every Tuesday and Friday at 6 p.m. What's the next video? Oh, I'm not sure, but the VNA is definitely on the list. It's a stone story from her actually. Anyway, I will see you in a few days time. Bye guys. <laughs>